Hey guys, Kelly here with Warren First 931. Come behind the scenes with me at Wink in downtown McMinnville. Um, just we want it to be very cozy and comfortable and just a retreat, right. basically. And I tell everybody this all the time, be, always shop local first because we have so many shops here in McMinnville. We are at Southern Traditions and I'm going to be talking with Miss Shelly today about all the amazing things she's got. Let's go! So we're into the red hearts and the beautiful things that people do for each other when they love them. Awesome! So, one of the most beautiful things that we carry and often the most things that we sell mm -hmm. are the Ronaldo bracelets, all different so kinds. Beautiful. I've had a blast hanging out here at Southern Traditions. And remember, if you want to stay in the know, you can always find me at any of my socials, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, X formerly known as Twitter, TikTok, and of course YouTube. And a shout out to my friend Jonathan Womack for helping me partner up with him on these projects at Community TV TN. And again, remember Warren County, keep it first. On this edition of Tennessee Stories of Home, David Stewart takes us on another trip down memory lane. Actually, a trip to a four-generation home and a farm in Warren County, Tennessee. It's been in the family since 1944. His grandfather and dad instilled a sense of love and stewardship on this farm. Stay with us on our trip to the Stewart Farm on this edition of Tennessee Stories of Home. He was a tough guy. And uh, actually, he was a good citizen. He was uh, a county commissioner out here for many years. He was instrumental in getting uh, the road from uh, McMinnville to Smithville built. He uh, was really interested in that and pushed it. But, uh, he wasn't much of a politician, but he was kind of more of a country gentleman, but uh, he, he was interested in people. Welcome to another edition of Community Insider. Join us as we travel Middle Tennessee, uncovering history and experiencing the adventure of unique stories and events coming to you inside your community. Wink with Cindy <laughs> in downtown McMinnville. How are you? Hey, good. How are you? Thanks right. for coming out. Thanks for letting me come on short yeah. notice. I love you. I love you. Uh, but with that said, you have traveled, I feel like traveled near and far from where you began to where you're at now. So real quickly, can you tell me like where you first started in the ideal concept of why you wanted to start Wink? Okay. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, I started Wink with the idea of having a safe, comfortable space for men and women to come and just be like taken care yes. of. Um, I always say that we take care of the caretakers. Yes. Uh, so we started out on, um, I started in Nashville, but mm -hmm. moved here in 2012 <laughs> and then opened Wink on High Street, yep. just me. One room I and then the shop. I know you were. Yeah. I go way back. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and then we um, upgraded and just continued to grow. Yes. And um, after twenty something years, I'm no longer in the treatment room, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, I but I know, and I miss it. Um, but we have grown to now we're staff of six. Yeah. 
yeah. and it's really cool. So I'm out front taking care of everyone. Mm -hmm. And then we have a massage therapist. We have three estheticians, reflexologists. We have an awesome spa attendant. Exactly. Yeah. So I just remember, and we're going to walk around your facilities to show everything that you do here. But I, like I said, I've been with you for, I don't know how many years now. And anytime you ever had a issue or, or the client had a situation that they brought up concern, they can ask you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, I remember when I was pregnant with my first kid and I'm like, I really need a massage. I got a headache really bad. Can you help me? And she was, oh, you're always there for me. So Aww, I really thanks. appreciate it. But with that said, you got amazing products. Yeah. Do you want to showcase one right quick? Sure, yeah. We have uh, several skincare lines that are exclusive to us. Okay. Um, in Tennessee, we're the only Tennessee stockist of Laurel which is um, a whole plant organic line. It's fantastic. We have uh, Cheryl, actually, one of our reflexologists and estheticians, and my mom. Mm -hmm. uh, she makes LA oils, which are oh, nice. phenomenal uh, face oils. Uh, we're a DMK certified clinic. We mm -hmm. have Super Goop. I had them before Sephora. And um, I really just stock my favorite things, mm -hmm. honestly. Uh, so you just got a little bit of everything, a little bit of bath bombs and all that. We have oils, candles. We've been able to expand our uh, shop to include yep. just, we have over 50 lines. Um, just and some cool stuff. therapy, especially with yes. the winter weather that we've been having. Yes. But with that said, can you show us around your great studio? Yes. Facility? All right, let's go. It's so amazing where this building has been to where it is now. So what yes. was this originally? So this originally was a warehouse mm -hmm. and Raven, uh, who is over Main Street, McMinnville, or Main Street yeah. Center, sorry, yes. uh, she came in to buy sunscreen one day and I said, what are you gonna do with that building? Because it would make a really cool wink. Yeah. Well, I was not ready to move for another year. Right. And she came back with an offer I could not refuse and a floor plan. And I was like, well, let's do this. Let's do this. I yeah. love it. <laughs> so what room are we going into right now? So this is our massage room. So Rachel okay. is our massage therapist. Absolutely fantastic. Ooh, just nice. a very calming. I just want everybody to come in here and feel like they're at home, safe they're cozy, space. safe space, and just comfortable. And like, they're the most, you know, important yeah. person in the room at that moment. And then when they come in here, I'm assuming, because uh, I've done this before, the bed is warm. Yes, heated table. Heated table, which is amazing. It's the only way to do it. And then, of course, you can uh, dress down or dress up the way you want. Yeah. And that's why you have the hangers and stuff, yes, right? Yes, yes. Awesome. And I want people to know, too, that um, some people for the first time when they come in, they're like, oh my gosh, I did not dress up to come in here. It's like, yeah. no, we dress up for you. Yeah. You come like as you, as you. As yeah. you. And like you said, y'all with the 30 minute on the go facials, mm -hmm. you can come and go on a lunch break and be done just like that. Yes, exactly. And before, I do know there's a room we're fixing to go to, but you actually go to a room before you hit here, correct? <laughs> yes. So you can come a little bit early to your yes. appointment and we have robes, slippers, baskets for your yeah. Um, items and then you can chill out in there. We'll go. I'll go the show you. Out room. Yeah, the show chill me. out room. Yes, show yes. Me. You can have tea. Ooh. We have um, a new hot cider. I think is what yes. I got last. The hot cider is pretty awesome. We have heated neck wraps. I love this. Yes, I'm gonna give you one right now. Oh, I'll take one anytime. Yes, and they smell so good. Yes, I'll put one on too. See, they're pretty, and then you just like decompose. And normally, too, when we're in here, you have music playing that's like instrumental. The lights light. are out. Yeah, it's a little yes. dim, more dimmer in here than normal. Yep. But I think it's just so nice. And then you accommodate everybody, either yes. with tip water or whatever the case is. Whatever you want. This is your space. You want you to put your feet up, blankets. Awesome. Yeah, and when are we still in quiet? Uh, and by ourselves. Never, <laughs> never. never. <laughs> but uh, before I let you go, yep. so you can get back to work, because I know you're a busy woman, just like we all are. Um, how can people get in touch with you? Okay, so we have our website, winkskincarestudio.com. Our number is 931-507-9465, 507-WINK. Okay. Uh, we also are on Instagram, Wink Skincare Studio, Facebook, Wink Skincare. Um, yeah. Just check it all out. Yeah, we have online scheduling, right. so you see what I see. Exactly. Um, we have some cool winter packages available, so they'd be great for Valentine's Day. I was going to say, Valentine's gift cards. Day is in February, yes. so We will take care cards. of your loved ones. Gift cards. We have some cool gifts. Um, just all kinds of fun stuff here. Yeah. Yeah. Why not take a spa day? I mean, I'll do it any day. I know. I mean, <laughs> 
So in this room, can you tell us what y'all guys do? Yeah, so we offer, we have three estheticians okay. and massage therapists. We just saw Rachel's room and um, sorry. With the facials? With the facials, we do uh, Wink uh, Intuition facials, which are completely customized, whatever your skin needs are. Okay. And we have our Wink on the Goes, which Love is a those. 30 minute, changes monthly. Um, we have peels, uh, waxing is in here. Um, just, we want it to be very cozy and comfortable and just a retreat, right. basically. And I tell everybody this all the time, be, always shop local first, because we have so many shops here in McMinnville that have that Nashville feeling and aesthetics, and you have captivated that in this brand new building, and I am so proud of Aww, you. Oh, thank you. But again, thank you for having us here, and I love you so much. Hey guys, Kelly here, your host of Warren First 931. Once again, gracing the best of downtown McMinnville, we are at Southern Traditions, and I'm gonna be talking with Miss Shelly today about all the amazing things she's got. Let's go! Hi, Shelly! Hi, Shelly, how are you? I am great. Now, Valentine's is all about February. Mm -hmm. Do you have some stuff people could get their significant other? Oh, absolutely. You know, we are, like, done with Christmas. Okay? Right. Christmas is over. It's over. So we're into the red hearts and the beautiful things that people do for each other when they love them. Awesome. So, one of the most beautiful things that we carry, and often the most things that we sell, mm -hmm. are the Ronaldo bracelets, all it's different so kinds. Beautiful. And each one of the bracelets has a special meaning. Okay. So they're made with a special meaning so um, you can kind of make it fit the person you're trying the person oh, really? you're trying to uh, to, to bless in oh, this situation nice. so we carry these these are all gold and silver mm -hmm. they're beautiful pieces they last forever um, really lovely stuff really I love lovely it stuff. it's not just bracelets you got earrings there and are you earrings. have uh, rings as well and we have a couple of rings yes we have some necklaces um, but the biggest seller are the bracelets but yes we do carry the others and then speaking of Valentine's Day I see that you have a Ronaldo pink jewelry box can right. you talk about this so if you spend $150 on Ronaldo merchandise this comes free okay. and then you can keep all of your Ronaldo stuff in this particular little case and keep it nice and safe and clean and all of those things. Oh, awesome. Now, what other type of jewelry do you have here for us to show? Well, we also carry the Brighton. That's another big line okay. for us. It is mostly silver. Okay. Um, this table here is um, watches and sunglasses and purses and all kind of stuff that uh, kind of broadens out what a woman would, would like. Yeah. The Brighton jewelry lasts forever. It's silver over brass and it doesn't tarnish. It's really lovely stuff and it's it's really a, a good buy. A good now, buy. Do you, with the, the jewelry that you guys sell, is there something you always suggest to help maintain it? Do y'all have that stuff to keep your jewelry safe and clean? And right, okay, so with the Brighton jewelry, they suggest that you don't put it in a cleaner, okay. but they do have the, the cleaning rag that you can use. Okay. Um, it's not to be necessarily um, used like a silver polish or anything, just use the rag and it, okay. whatever oils on your skin or whatever will come off. Mm -hmm. With the Ronaldo, um, that is silver and gold. So right. sometimes if there's more silver in the bracelet, you'll have to use just a little bit of silver polish on it and then rub it off okay. and that's it. And then you're showcasing your piece. That necklace is adorable uh, yeah, on you. This is mine. And what brand is that one? <clears throat> this is um, one of the ones that we carry from Nashville. This okay. woman is so unique. She never makes the same piece twice. Okay. So everything that she brings to us is unique and you'll never see it's yourself almost coming. Like it's literally one of a kind. Yeah, right, exactly. Okay. So she does the necklaces and the earrings. Several of the necklaces have a double hitch, which means that you can make it short or long. Okay. Um, and they come with very unique, different kinds of chains. Yes. So they're, they're all, there's always something, there's there, there's definitely a conversation. Yeah, they're piece. very, and they're customizable, like mm -hmm. with that, as you yes. said. Uh -huh. And if anybody else is looking for a, a nice Valentine's gift, what else do you guys offer? Well, you know, there are lots of different things in the store. It depends on the person that you're buying yes. for. But, you know, if someone wants housewares or, or things to put in your home, yeah. goodness sakes, we have the whole blue and white collection, which oh, yes. women just die, die over, for. Yes. And then there's also other more farmhouse kind of um, cozy kind of stuff like that that's not quite so elegant as right. some of the other stuff. And then we also do, um, you know, some of the beautiful... Um, 
Um, diffusers. Diffusers, yeah, thank mm -hmm. you. Diffusers, and those last forever. Those are very I lovely. love those diffusers. Yeah, and they smell wonderful, mm -hmm. and they just add to the beauty of your home. They do. Because when you walk in the door, you, you know. don't have ugly diffusers. No. They are beautiful. Yeah, they're beautiful. That's right. Um, and then a couple other things I know you guys offer here in the store, like, you know, if you lost a loved one or if you have, uh, you just like collecting. I see you got the tree. Right. Uh, we have Willow Tree. The Willow, Willow Tree, tree yeah. yes. Willow Tree is over here. Willow Tree, we carry a lot of that, mm -hmm. um, and that's for any occasion, but yeah. we sell a great deal of it for um, a loss. And, that's yeah. a huge one. Yeah. And then we have several other things, uh, books and other um, memorabilia for for funerals, and we send them over to the funeral home, wrap them in plastic so you can see them, and you know, just make sure there's a, a nice package that goes over there mm -hmm. to the funeral home or wherever it's going in town. Right. And then um, we also do bridal registries. Oh, we have yeah. a huge, huge room in the can, back. Can you show me sure, that? Come on. come on, I'll show you. So this yes. is the um, area where we um, display brides' registries. I see that. So when they come in, do you ask for a photo or is that something that they just give no, voluntarily? They ask, we ask them for a photo. Okay. They bring us one, usually one of their wedding engagement pictures or something. Okay. Like, but it doesn't have to be, whatever they want to okay. put there. And then that is how we display the table where you can see there's there's the picture oh, nice. and then there's you know the, the names of the two people and when the wedding is. Yeah. And then she has gone through the store and picked up everything that she would really like gotcha. and then she'll have a couple of showers and she'll have a wedding date and then people can come in and just pick from here right. and we keep track of everything I was gonna ask so you she that. knows that she got eight plates and eight salad plates and she doesn't and get double right, right. once it's exactly. bought it's off the list exactly I love that exactly and then as far as the baby registry goes where is that section I cannot okay. wait to see that one Okay, and the baby registries are very similar to the bridal registries. There's the little table that's right. set up, and the bride comes in, or the the mommy comes in, right. and she she chooses clothing or little warmies that you Those can put amazing. in the micro microwave, so you can put mm -hmm. next to the baby. Or there are books and animals that go together, yes. or they're the board books for little babies. The beautiful we have a beautiful arrangement of the noodles and boo. Um, uh, soaps and bath, dishwashing bath detergent stuff, yes. and um, definitely the lotion oh yes. my gosh the lotion is amazing mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we also carry a little bit of baby jewelry we carry bibs and all these other kind of practical Aww. things yes. and then um, you can have things engraved in the silver mm -hmm. to keep for a, a keepsake and then uh, this is a little shy right now but the boss is at market and this is coming back. I was going to okay. say, where, I was going to ask you, where is Dale? Yeah, Dale is at market in Atlanta. Okay. And he's coming back with all this stuff to load the store back I up. noticed because when we got in here, y'all are unloading some more boxes and you're even getting more later. Yes, absolutely. And that's one thing you always guys try to maintain to be stocked to the fullest, right? We're stocked as much as we can be and we have inventory all the time. All the time. All the time. Guys, I've had a blast hanging out here at Southern Traditions. And remember, if you want to stay in the know, you can always find me at any of my socials, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, X formerly known as Twitter, TikTok, and of course YouTube. And a shout out to my friend Jonathan Womack for helping me partner up with him on these projects at Community TV TN. And again, remember Warren County, keep it first. Oh, Grandpa always had horses and mules and Tennessee walking horses. The day I was 16 years old and got my driver's license the very first day, my grandfather sent me down to Franklin, Tennessee to Harlandsdale Farm to take a mare down there to be bred by myself. I, I just turned 16 that day. And it was an old, like a 1964 Ford truck. No trailer back then or anything. It had stock frames on the back, so the uh, the mare stood up at the back of the truck. And uh, I took her down there and left her to be bred. But uh, Grandpa always uh, had a, a colt every year, a Tennessee walking horse, and uh, he loved fooling with them. And my dad developed a love for it too. So, uh, this is the old barn gear room which has got some 
old things hanging around. There's some old saddles and, and harnesses. And, How old do you think the barn is? Well, this barn was probably built in the 1920s. And when I was a young man, I cleaned these stalls out, you know, with a manure fork and a manure spreader. We had well water right there. Uh, when I was a little boy, we had no running water and uh, we would draw the water out of the well, take it in the house, put it on a wood stove, heat it up, pour it in a tub, take a bath. No telephones, outhouses. I always do uh, remember electricity though. I remember my grandfather had these, always had a TV ever since I was a little boy. And, uh, and he was one of the first ones probably had TV. He did, and he was one of the first ones to have one of those big radios, one of the big tube radios. And all the neighbors would come to this house and uh, listen to the radio. But it was a big family deal. There were brothers and cousins and neighbors, and it was really tight back then. And it was an event almost every Sunday afternoon. Uh, homemade peach ice cream, cutting watermelons, birthday parties, eating. Uh, my grandfather was a musician. He played the banjo. And he had a cousin that played the banjo. And then my Uncle Jaime was a pretty good guitar player. So uh, we had lots of music on the porch back then. Always food. It was amazing for a country family, we really ate well out of the garden. And fresh chicken and hog killing. And, you know, there was just all kinds of fruits and vegetables. My grandfather uh, sold fruit trees, that's what he did. He, he was a nurseryman. He would grow the trees, but he would go out on the road up to Virginia and uh, sell fruit trees. He'd go from house to house and take orders. And that's how he met my grandmother in, uh, in Virginia, in a little town called Pennington in Lee County, Virginia. He met my grandmother selling fruit trees and they eloped one night. And my grandfather tried to catch them on a horse, but they got away and got married. So uh, I never knew that's, that story. that's how I got here. I tell you what, uh, to be a farmer, you got to be pretty smart and pretty diligent and have a good work ethic. Um, my father just, my grandmother, Kate Stewart, this is my grandfather's mother. She was a very interesting, educated woman, a school teacher. She was a lady of letters and uh, she was the first woman in Tennessee to own an automobile and drive it. She was also the first woman in Tennessee to be elected to any kind of public office. She was elected Register of Deeds in uh, DeKalb County. And at that time, she was a really close friend with a congressman named Joel Evans from uh, Tennessee. And uh, they wrote letters. And actually, he wrote a book and mentioned Kate Stewart because she was such a dynamic forceful, loving pe person. I still have letters and I've seen them that she's written to to children, encouraging them, you know, to uh, cripple children. That was uh, just her character and she was really interested in education. And I think that's how my, my father uh, got his drive to go to college and then his two brothers also. So uh, this is the old house that they were raised in. It's probably built in the 20s. But uh, that's the maple tree where, where they held the funeral right there. Wow. It was before I was born. She uh, died in 1947. I was born in 1951. But I've heard stories of people coming to her funeral from the community. The Gribbles from down in Dearborn have told me about attending my grandmother's funeral. And, uh, how sad it was how my grandfather was left a widower with uh, six small children. But he survived. He, uh, he was a tough guy. And uh, 
Actually, he was a good citizen. He was a, a county commissioner out here for many years. He was instrumental in getting uh, the road from uh, McMinnville to Smithville built. He uh, was really interested in that and pushed it. But, uh, I always saw this in my father. His work ethic was just uh, absolutely tremendous. And uh, it kind of went against my grain just a little bit because he worked so hard. And, uh, you know, Mondays through Saturdays, you know, about 14 hours a day. And then on Sundays, it still wasn't a day of rest. Uh, it was visiting the nursing homes, the funeral homes, the hospitals. Uh, that's just the way my father was. He was an encourager of people. But uh, my father always believed in people that they could better themselves, that they had the capacity to do that. And uh, of course that drifted down to me, son, you can, be, you can do better. And uh, it was, uh, it was a constant learning lesson. I really loved and admired my father. Of course, I was the only son. And he was just married to a, just a beautiful, sweet lady. My mother was just quiet and gentle, whereas my father was not always quiet and gentle. He was, uh, he could get spun up and uh, he was really interested in things. But my mother was just always the same. You, you could bet on her being cool and not getting too excited. But she was a good mother to raise six kids. Uh, you know, our age uh, difference was just nine years. I'm nine years older than my youngest sister, so the others came in between. And I was the only boy. And uh, it, we had one bathroom when, when we were little. And it, bathroom time was a big deal when you had five little sisters and then uh, your parents in there. You, you didn't have much bathroom time. And I didn't have much alone time, but when I got older, my parents built onto their house and they stuck me off in a room by myself because I was the only boy and I suspected they thought I'd give them some trouble, which I probably did. But uh, I, I'm thankful for that. But, oh, I remember the meals my mother made. Oh, it, it's just wonderful every night, you know. And uh, she got to be a master at baking pies, uh, particularly cream, coconut, and chocolate pies, and actually selling them. I remember when my, I was a little boy, my mother did not have a driver's license. And uh, we had moved to Nashville at that time, but she would walk for miles with a buggy. She would put two kids in the buggy, and I'd walk along beside her, and we go to the grocery store and go shopping, but uh, as soon as she was able, she got her driver's license and it, it was all go after that. But, uh, taking care of those six kids, keeping us clean, keeping us fed, keeping us healthy, keeping us happy. Uh, we, we felt really secure with our parents. I had a wonderful childhood, you know, just human like everybody else. And, uh, you know, storms of life come. You know, there was always little things, trouble with, you know, some family member or something. But, uh, Dad had the, he was a man of faith. He had faith to get him by, and my mother did too. And Dad lived to the ripe old age of 87, and my mother lived to be 85. 